Okay, so here we have a 04 Freightliner. The customer complaint was that the brake lights are not working and the tow plug lights are not working. So we have to diagnose the wires in here. So as you can see, these wires are not connected to anything. So that's probably the main problem right there. And as we go along, we will try and find any other problems that this brake light system might have. So we diagnosed uh, some of the wirings for the reverse lights on the Freightliner. We've determined that... Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. We've determined that this, this blue wire right here on the very end here goes to the reverse lights and this green wire goes to this power source for the, for the right side tail light and this one right here is the power source for the left side tail light. So far we're running into some troubles. We keep up, we're trying to test the turn signals right now. We're turning on the left turn signal but the right actual light is the one that's actually blinking. So we have a feeling that the, liar, the wires might be backwards so we're trying to figure out which wire goes into what point at, at this time. And before that we had the right turn signal on but both lights were actually blinking. They were going from here to here to here to here. They weren't, it wasn't just one light blinking at, at one time for the left turn signal. So we're trying to figure out why it's doing that. So trying to determine whether we put the wire in the wrong spot or there's something wrong with the wiring on us. So we did some further work and we determined that the pin was unplugged from where it should be. So we plugged the ba that back in to where it should be now we have turn signals going each direction where they should be, but now the problem is that we don't have any brake lights when we press the brake pedal. So now we have to determine what that problem is. See, we can see we got some of the uh, wiring put together to put some of these headlights at work. I mean, brake lights at work, but it don't look pretty, but we're getting it done so far. All we need to figure out now is why the brake lights aren't working when we push the brake pedal down. Now this is just a work in progress. It'll look a little better when we're finished. See this wire here, it's going to the left side tail light right here. This one right here. And we have another wire right here that's, go that's being fed to the right side tail light at the moment we don't have anything connected to the uh, reverse light but that'll that will definitely come later and we and you as you can see in the middle here we have these two connected so that so that uh, when the hazards are turned on that both lights blink so they're do what they what they're supposed to do now we don't have these wires heat shrink yet but because we're still working but when we're done, this, it's going to look a lot better than what it does right now. But I guarantee you this will work the way it's supposed to in due time. So what, what we ended up doing was the pin connector that was attached to it ended up being a bigger pain in the butt than what was needed. So we ended up cutting them out and just connecting the wires that needed to be connected to each other to make the brake lights work. So... Turns out we didn't really need it, so we just cut it out and made do with what we had. Okay, so what what we have here is this this white wire that connects to both both of the, the uh, tail lights. This is what acts as the hazard hazard wire. So when you turn on the hazard switch, both tail lights will blink. This black wire connecting the bolt connecting the two is acts as the um, brake light switch, brake light wire. So when you press the brake pedal, the two brake lights will turn on. At this point, we have not figured out why this wire is not working. Because when we press the uh, brake pedal, the brake 
brake lights will not turn on. But we will continue to diagnose this and figure out what the problem is with this. Okay, now that we've got most of this work done, you can see that it definitely looks a little better than before. Because you see up here and all around here, we got heat shrink around most of these, around most of these points. Now, given given the fact that this is just a project, this is not a actual diesel shop job. Because if it was, they, these wires would not look like this. They would be soldered together, heat shrinked, and electrical taped, and everything else to that standard. But given that this is just a project, that then this truck is not going to see the road ever again. So this is just to connect all the wires and to make sure that everything is working that the way it's supposed to. But, however, we will heat shrink these just for safety measures because these these little points right here will poke you and possibly hurt you if you're not careful. But other than that, all of the components that we di diagnosed have come to come together and everything works now the way it should be and in my opinion job well done now that our project is laid out the way it's supposed to be all the wires are in the right places that they, sh that they should be now that we're now we're going to take our solder gun and our solder and solder the wires together so that their connection is very strong and that they do not break because if you just twist the wires together and put electrical tape on it, because that will cause a possible possible weak connection, which will eventually break, and then your components will not work the way they're supposed to. So, in any electrical job that you, that you do, you're supposed to take solder and a solder gun and solder the wires together so that they do not come apart. Once you're done soldering the wires, you need to put the heat shrink on them so that the exposed wire will not be ex exposed to the elements, such as water and snow and wherever your climate, whatever your climate calls for, and that could possibly ruin the components that you just worked to fix. So once we get these soldered and heat shrink. Everything should be good to go, and this will be this will be the be a job well done on everybody in my group part. Now that we've got everything working, I'm gonna show you the final result. Left turn signal. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. Right turn signal. In reverse gear. It's in reverse gear right now. Reverse light. And brakes. Brake lights. <laughs>